customer feedback is an absolute killer method for gathering market research and customer research. That said, not all customer feedback is valuable. In fact, acting on bad customer feedback can lead to all kinds of bad stuff. Wasted time, wasted effort, lost profits, or worse. So here, we're going to dig into all this and learn more about customer feedback. What's going on, my friend? I'm Jeff Blake from 10tononline.com. If you want to escape the grind, build a fulfilling online business, and launch a better tomorrow, then you're definitely in the right spot. Okay, let's dig into this customer feedback stuff now. To help you along, I've put together an online business jumpstart guide for you. This is a free, easy to follow, downloadable PDF guide that gives you a solid blueprint and foundation for your online business. This really is a reference for you, a printable workbook that you can refer back to whenever you need it as you're building and developing your profitable and successful online business. Go ahead and grab your free guide right now over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. And stick around to the end of this video and I'll show you how you can gain free access to some training that goes even deeper into everything that we're going to be discussing here and a whole heck of a lot more. This is completely free training, but it's really intended for folks who are serious about this stuff. So stick around to the end and I'll show you how you can gain free access. Okay, let's jump into this topic of customer feedback or called customer feedback. Now, as I alluded to just a moment ago, while customer feedback can be very valuable, you kind of have to take it with a little bit of a grain of salt. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about here. I was trawling around through some online forums not too long ago, and I came across something really interesting. At least it was interesting to me. I can't remember exactly where I saw this, but it doesn't really matter. Someone posted basically a post that went like this. They said something along the lines of listening to customer feedback and requests is honestly such a crapshoot. Their words, not mine. <laughs> I have a family who runs a bakery and they are constantly asked for specialty products like gluten-free or low or no sugar items. And as soon as they go to the effort to make these types of baked goods, the customers try them and they go, no, I like the regular stuff much better. This poster went on to say, no kidding, of course you like the sugar and fat soaked cookies better than some weird prune paste and flaxseed concoction. But now the business has wasted two weeks fine tuning the recipe and getting something that actually works and nobody actually wants it. In this same thread, another commenter chimed in. They said, essentially, I have a cookie and ice cream business, and about once a month I hear, you should try gluten-free. You should offer gluten-free. You should offer keto or vegan-friendly. And this poster went on to say, or this replier went on to say, that they've tried offering these sorts of products in the past, and they simply don't sell. Interesting stuff, isn't it? So while customer feedback can be good, it isn't necessarily valuable. Myself, I prefer feedback that comes humbly and almost apologetically. Something along the lines of, hey, I hope you don't mind me saying so, and this is your business, and you're running the show, but when feedback comes more directly and in the form of almost like demands, something like, you know, you should do this, you know, or I really think if you did this, then it would sell really well. That's when you know the feedback that you're, you're getting probably isn't very helpful or useful. In fact, at least for me, every once in a while, someone will say to me something along the lines, you should send emails like this instead, or you should make a video about such and such, or you should make a full length course on exactly this topic. I would totally buy it. Now, I mean, maybe some of these suggestions have merit and maybe they don't. As business owners, you and I have to carefully vet these ideas and decide for ourselves if it's worth it to go to the trouble to pursue them or not. Maybe our market is telling us what they really truly want. Or maybe it's just a single person, a high demand person who wants us to do things just for them and they want done their way. The secret with customer feedback, the trick to know if it's worth pursuing or not, 
is the following. Is more than one person saying the same thing? Are you noticing a pattern in your feedback where lots and lots of people are basically saying the same thing? That's how you can distinguish, or one of the ways that you can distinguish between feedback that is valuable and worth considering and pursuing and feedback that's probably gonna take you off course. Okay, now next, if you're ready to take the next big steps forward in building your profitable and successful online business, then pop open a new browser tab, head over to 10tononline.com forward slash free and enroll in your online business workshop. This is a free self-paced online workshop that really lays out the fundamentals for you to build and put together and get your online business off the launch pad and on the web. I know you're going to enjoy it. So bring a notepad and a coffee and I'll catch you over there in just a minute.